All right, good afternoon. We're gonna uh, take the truck for a little cruise. I would say we're gonna take it off-roading, but it's not really off-roading, but it's, it might seem like it. We'll take it down a little dirt road loop in my neighborhood, and uh, hopefully we won't get stuck. country board but I got a two-wheel drive and uh, I've got three years but uh, hopefully everything goes good all right what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little quick lap and uh, I'm just doing this about once a week at the very minimum uh, to keep everything freshened up on this truck because uh, if you got a car that sits up it's going to cost you a lot more and a lot more time than if you were just to drive it just go pick up groceries or whatever go see some friends bring it back it does wonders It's amazing how smooth the dirt road is and how bumpy the paved road is. The county is supposed to be repairing the paved roads, but uh, that'll probably be about three or four years <laughs> the way it's looking now. I don't know. They're supposed to be doing it any time, but they are definitely taking their time. You just got to keep going because if I get going too slow, I may not be able to get back going. Gotta point it and go. I really like living out here. It's really peaceful. It's. Um, I've always heard some people just some people don't adapt to the country life very well. Some people just absolutely hate it, and I can absolutely understand that because there are downsides of it. One thing is your internet is kind of uh, iffy. It kind of works when it wants to, but I would say it's about 95% reliable, so I'm not I'm not complaining too bad on that. Cell service, certain spots, it's just nothing. So, uh, don't want to be running out of gas out of here, you know, or breaking down. Just want to do everything you can to make sure you won't need to call anybody because you may not be able to. Now you got another little quick tour of my neighborhood and did a little bogging through some mud. <laughs> 